Leah Thomas, the first transgender woman to win an NCAA championship, hoped to qualify for the US Olympic team in 2024. Under new rules decided by swimming's world governing body, she's no longer eligible to compete. As the World Aquatic Championships get underway in Budapest, FINA voted to effectively bar transgender women from competing at an elite level, if they've gone through any part of male puberty. We have to protect the rights of all our athletes to compete. But we also have to protect competitive fairness at our events, especially women's competition. 71% of the governing bodies, 152 national federations, voted in favour of the new rule. Following a report from a FINA scientific panel, which stipulates that trans women retained a significant advantage over cisgender female swimmers, even after medically reducing their testosterone levels. Advocates for transgender inclusion argue not enough studies have been done on elite trans athletes, amid worries the decision sets a precedent for other sports federations to follow suit. This FINA policy is going to have a huge impact on the policies in different states. That, again, to me, is, is, is the real crime. The fact that this policy may end up affecting a 14-year-old kid in high school, that's just... That makes me sad. FINA says they will establish an open category for transgender women in some events. The seismic decision intensifies the debate around trans athletes as the sporting world struggles to uphold its cornerstones of fairness and inclusion while ensuring there's no unfair advantage.